Hello and welcome to NetApp KB TV. This video is based on NetApp KB ID 1013689. We'll discuss about logical interfaces failover. Lift failover is an automated process in scenarios such as port link or cable failure or a takeover. To check the failover properties, go to on command system manager, highlight the lift and the failover properties are displayed below. It shows us the home port and the current port, the failover policy, failover group and the failover state. In the CLI, you can run network interface show hyphen vserver hyphen left hyphen failover. Here we see that the failover policy is set to next available, failover group is system defined and this is the list of the failover targets. Let's look at some failover options. First option is to use a failover policy. It can be set to next avail which is default. It will fail over the lift to the next available physical interface. Priority will fail over the lift according to the failover rule. Disabled will disable the failover for the lift. To change the failover policy, run network interface modify hyphen v server hyphen lift hyphen failover policy and we'll set it to priority. We'll run the network interface show again and now the failover policy is set to priority. Second option is to use a failover group. Default is system defined. A cluster wide failover group exists by default and includes all of the ports available in the cluster for the LIF failover. To change to a customized group we would need to create a failover group. To create a failover group run network interface failover groups create hyphen failover group the name of the failover group hyphen node hyphen port Once the failover group is created, run failover groups show hyphen node and the node name. Here it shows us the failover group failed to being created with node 2 and port E3A. To use this failover group, run network interface modify hyphen v server hyphen lift hyphen failover group and the name of the failover group. We'll check the status again using network interface show. And here the failover group is now set to fail to. Auto revert. Lifts can be configured to auto revert, that is to revert back to their home port when the home port link comes back up after it has been down. To check the current status, run network interface show hyphen v server hyphen left hyphen fields auto revert. Currently the auto revert is set to false. To change it to true run network interface modify hyphen v server hyphen left 
hyphen auto revert and set it to true to enable it. We can run the network interface show again. Now the auto revert is set to true for the data left. Note that the cluster lifts will always auto revert and this option cannot be changed. For more information, see NetApp KB 1013689. Thank you.